Hello, uh, I'm Richard Graffham, and in this video I'm going to show you how uh, an offcut like this, which you might normally burn, uh, gets made into a little bowl. This is part of a two and a half meter board I'm cutting up for trophy bases. Uh, it's around eight inches diameter, and uh, I hate to waste anything, so I'm going to be keeping these sections for small bowls. So in the clip you've just seen, you saw where these triangles came from. And the next thing really is to make them into little boards. So I'm just going to, I've got the fence um, here, so they're all going to be much the same thickness. And uh, it's really just a question of cutting through this lot now, and I'll, it won't take very long. I've got a, a three quarter inch, 20 mil blade on, three uh, teeth to the inch. So it's a fairly coarse blade. Um, and uh, things should go along fairly fast. So I don't have a break on this saw, so I tend to use a, an off-cut, just twist it a bit. Right, so that exercise uh, yielded, uh, what have we got, two, four, six, eight, ten blanks. Um, now, if you don't have a fence, I'm going to cut these into squares now. Um, if you don't have a fence, uh, like I do, uh, a quick way of doing individual bits, trying to get rid of these, um, is to take... Slice off one end, get this rough in, just take a bit off there. And then if you want a square, we already know this is uh, two and a half inches wide. Um, I'll cut that bit off there. So all I need to do is put that on there and mark it. Oops, I might do it up there. And then I can put that through the saw. And I have a blank which is pretty well square. As it is, I've got a fence. Um, so what I'll do is just cut a piece off every one. And then we'll set up the fence and, uh, and cut the squares. Obviously, um, I could make better use of the blank. I mean, it's going to take a little bit off there. And then push that through. So I've got equal bevels either side. So now we have the squared blanks. Um, I have two ways in mind for them. One is to uh, drill a hole in the centre and then put them over some expanding jaws, the long nose jaws on a chuck or I can have a central screw. Now, either way, you're going to need to know where center is. I generally do it by eye because the more you do it by eye, the better you get at it. But it's square, so if you want to know where center is, you draw the diagonals, and uh, that'll be pretty well it. So next, I'm going to do all these on a... Um, uh, on expanding jaws because I find that quicker. Uh, the next stage is to go to the drill press. So here we are with the um, blank drilled out to fit over the long nose jaws on the Vic Mark chuck. A little bit missing there, but not a big deal. <clears throat> so first job 
is to just uh, get the piece round and as usual I'm going to be using a half inch spindle gouge. That's pretty well round. And come in from the other side. This is the right wing to uh, smooth out the top surface. See, we're going there a little flat to go, got to get rid of that. Smooth. Now coming across the bottom I'm going to use the left wing, just drag the tool back. mark the diameter. So the mark I make with the left point needs to line up with the right. And I cut straight in on that to start with just to establish the diameter. 3 8 spindle guide. This is when you practice your entry cut. Make sure that little chamfer's gone. Yep, seems to have done. Now there's a little bit of picked out grain there. It's just uh, oak splits quite easily, so that needs attention. Get rid of that. And that seems to have pulled out yet again. This is kiln dried, which is not my preferred material to work you up, it's just pulled out on the long grain there. So it means I've got to go very gently up from the bottom and I might be better off with a uh, with a scraper anyway. Yeah, I'm still holding the 3 8 so I might as well use that. Now this has got a fairly long bevel um, so I'm going to use the half inch spindle gouge, which is a steeper bevel on the on the right wing. And that's shiny, which implies a nice cut. Right, so that's clean enough. And getting into the bottom of the uh, curve, I like to use a, a scraper. So this is a one inch wide huge scraper, a little rounded curve. And up on the top, I'm going to tilt it up on edge and shear scrape. Just bring the, bring the curve in a teeny bit. Just looks better. Coming across the bottom, we'll use the same tool. We've got a nice sharp corner. We've got a little bit taken out of the corner there, so this side's rounded over. So to get a really sharp corner, I've just taken, uh, uh, just caused a little bevel there and gives it really nice sharp corner to do that kind of thing. Then to round the foot over we use the 3 x spindle guard right on its side, just roll it slightly and then use the other side, roll it over and just stroke the surface. That's done. And uh, sand that, starting with uh, the 180 grit, the yellow. 
Get the dust on. I just feel a little lump in the middle. Great lump. And then I've got a, a rag which smells that it's got a little bit of oil in it, a little bit of um, boiled linseed. That's why you don't wrap a rag around your fingers in case you're attached to the other end. goes on to another chuck. This is the, uh, the 40 millimeter jaws, not quite sure. 35. 35 millimeter jaws. And if the foot's the right size, that will grip the wood without leaving a mark. And the next thing is to true up the, uh, the top surface. There's a 3 8 deep fluted bowl gouge. Just open up that little bit in the middle so I've got my depth gauge going in. Again, drop the rest slightly because it's quite a big gouge for a bowl this size. So the bevel lines up with the direction I want to go. Trying to keep my hands out of your way, normally my hands right over the top. Very rarely go all the way to the bottom of the gouge. Prefer to use a scraper. Then I've got more control over the shape. And I like this. Use a tool which has a radius as near the curve I'm trying to cut so I can fit in. And that really is just a bit too broad. Somewhere down here. Bigger one, which should do better. Yeah, that's much better. And I don't 
here, that sounds pretty good. little bowl. So that one can now join two others which are done from the same blanks. <laughs> <laughs> 